As you know, Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia, which affected more than 40 people, a million people worldwide. Now, based on these increasing uh, uh, incidents and the high societal impact, uh, Alzheimer's disease is recently declared by the World Health Organization as first priority health problem, highlighting the urgent need for deeper understanding uh, the disease etiopathogenesis, as well as identifying other therapeutic targets. So our work focuses more of the precipitating role of lifetime stress, chronic stress on AD, as clinical evidence suggests uh, that prolonged exposure to stressful conditions uh, is a risk factor for, for the disease. Now, our preclinical work for the last 20 years shows that uh, exposure to uh, chronic stress, to a prolonged period of stress in our lives, can activate different mechanisms of Alzheimer's disease, like damaging uh, 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 tau function and creates also tau pathology, as well as uh, increasing the overproduction of amyloid beta that is also the two both hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease brain pathology. The interesting thing is that uh, as more as we uh, investigate the involvement of tau in, in, in stress pathology, we realize that uh, uh, this is connected also to depression, another risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. We know, for example, from clinical studies that people, people that they have uh, depressive episodes, different depressive episodes in their life, they have higher risk to develop Alzheimer's disease. And postmodern studies have shown that uh, the, uh, the main histological hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease, uh, it's also increased in, in patients or people that they have previous depressive episodes. Now, our preclinical work on animals show that uh, different mechanisms that we found in Alzheimer's disease can be also participate and be activated in stress-driving depression because stress is uh, chronic stress is casually related to depressive pathology and is often used as a model uh, in animals to mimic depressive symptomatology. So our study shows for the first time that previously known Alzheimer's disease-related mechanisms are now also involved in stress-driving depression. 